Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, let's analyze the simply supported beam both manually as well as in StatPro software. Let's take a simply supported beam with uniformly distributed loop and let's analyze the beam manually. Let's find out the bending moment and shear force manually and then let's model the same beam in the StatPro software and let's analyze and find out the results and let's compare the results whether both results are same or not. Without any delay, let's begin now. Let's consider the simply supported beam. The beam is having the span of 5 meter length and then the UDL load which is applied on the beam is 15 kN per meter. The size of the beam is 300 by 600 mm. So let's find out the total load. Load on beam is equal to self weight of the beam plus 15 kN per meter. If you see in our textbook, many of the problem has been solved like this by manually. But in that problems, they will not consider the self weight of the beam. So when you need to calculate the load which is coming on the beam, you need to always calculate the self weight as well. So here load on beam is equal to self weight of the beam plus this 15 kN per meter. Now let's calculate the self weight of the beam. We know the self weight of the beam is 0.3 multiplied by 0.6 and that multiplied by 25 unit weight of concrete is 25 kN per meter cube if we solve this we get 4.5 kN per meter as the self weight of the beam so total load on beam is 4.5 kN meter that is self weight plus this 15 kN per meter so total load on beam is self weight plus this 15 kN per meter that will become 19.5 kN per meter now we know the total load which is coming on beam first let's find out the bending moment as we all know that bending moment in simply supported beam is W L square by 8 so we need to calculate the bending moment that is load multiplied by the length load is 19.5 multiplied by length is 5 meter pi square divided by 8 so we get 60.93 kN meter as the bending moment so this is the bending moment we get for this simply supported beam 60.93 kN meter next let's find out the shear force shear force v is equal to w l divided by 2 for simply supported beam this is the formula to calculate the shear force we know w is 19.5 multiplied by 5 divided by 2 so v is equal to 48.75 kN. so this is the shear force if we calculate it manually now let's model the same beam in the start pro software and check the results we got the bending moment value as bending moment value as 60.93 kN meter and then shear force as 48.75 kN. let's open the stat and then let's draw the beam up to 5 meter we have the beam now first let's define the member property go to member property prismatic select rectangle and beam size is 0.6 depth as 0.6 and width as 0.3 give add close next select the beam and then give assign so member property has been assigned next let's uh, assign the support condition go to command support specifications pin support add select the support and then select the nodes and assign support has been assigned next let's apply the load go to general loads and definitions under load case details give add select the loading type as dead and here give the load title as dead load and then add give close next click on the dead load give add and you have to remember here you need to add the self weight first and then member load as minus 15 kN per meter so self weight start will cal calculate automatically and then we have assigned the load as uniformly distributed load as 15 kN per meter. Let's select the beam and then assign the self weight. 
sulfate has been assigned next again let's select the beam and then assign this uniformly distributed load so that load also has been assigned now let's go to command analysis perform analysis select all give ok and then run the analysis analysis has been done now go to post processing mode give apply ok and then if you click on this bending moment diagram it will show you the bending moment drawing and then go to results view value beam results select maximum give or not it see the maximum bending moment we got as 60.128 whereas in manual calculation also we got the same value 60.93 kilo newton meter as the bending moment next let's do the shear force activate this shear force this is the shear force diagram let's look into the results go to results view value under beam results you have to select under shear ends maximum and midpoint give annotate and then close so here we got the maximum shear forces 48.103 kN in both supports we got 48.103 as the shear force whereas in manual design also we got the same value 48.75 kN so this is how you need to compare the manual results with the stat pro results so friends i hope this video was useful for you please do comment in the comment box if you have any queries your comments are always welcome and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos if you like this video and if you want to support this channel super thanks button has been enabled in our channel you have to log in to your account and then super thanks buttons has been shown below this video you have to click on that and pay some amount to support this channel thank you for watching